Corkfest.party. It's gonna be a party. So I hear so much whining and hand wringing about the advent of super intelligence or artificial intelligence. But what you never seem to hear is suggestions for constructive solutions. I think it was our Buckminster Fuller who said that you don't really get anywhere by railing against this or that. You get somewhere by proposing or creating an alternative. My suspicion is that if there really is some big danger related to artificial intelligence and super intelligence, we could think of it sort of like the danger of having our hot air balloon fill up with cold air. In that case, the solution is probably to fill up the hot air balloon with helium, so it doesn't matter what temperature it is. In the same way, the solution with the AI issue may be to create an AI or collection of AIs that fill up the space with something positive. I'm surprised that the cryptocurrency community hasn't already risen to this challenge. Now they do have, there are crypto AI projects, but that's not their goal. They're just crypto AI projects and they're not aiming to create some sort of ethical crypto or, excuse me, eth- ethical AI. They're just creating, oh, we're just going to go create a supercomputer. Ethics doesn't seem to pop into it. I think when I Google the term uh, ethical crypto AI or something like that, I really didn't get much in the way of results. Just, you know, supercomputers. We're making a supercomputer. I still would, you know, rather see the blockchain community create the first super intelligence as opposed to the military or something. But it seems like there may be an, a market opportunity for someone who wants to build a project aimed at sort of creating a good guy. I guess that would sort of literally be what they were doing, trying to do. My theory has been that you would, if you wanted to simulate life, the most effective way to do it would be to put you know, very low level bacteria type creatures into a uh, simulated environment on a supercomputer. You know, they, they would be similar to the kind, you know, maybe the kind of that kinds of AI that you fight against in computer games. That would be their level of intelligence. But you put them in an environment that's very similar to, you know, real life evolution and so forth. And then I guess you'd let them uh, breed as they see fit or die if they die the same way that real bacteria would. That would be the fastest way to speed it up, speed the process up real fast computationally. That would be the, the fastest way to create an AI. Uh, but again, the question is, is that ethical? Because you're going to be exposing it and many others like it to all kinds of suffering. These creatures that you create. Because they're going to have to experience pain and joy and in the natural state, mostly pain. Is there a way to do an end run around that? Take a more direct approach, I don't know. But in theory, at least, it seems like a worthy goal to try and fill the super intelligent space with a creature or race of creatures which follows the non-aggression principle or something along those lines. This may be a market opportunity and a world-changing opportunity for you if you've been wanting to make your own coin and looking for something that no one else is doing. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.